Hi, this is Alvin with kickstartcommerce.com and in today's tutorial, I'm sharing with you how to upload and set a featured image for WordPress posts and pages. And so one of the things I did a, another tutorial not too long ago about how to programmatically create WordPress posts and pages so that you could use code to automate uh, your WordPress pages or posts uh, creations and so we'll take it a step further what I didn't include in that last tutorial is what I'll be discussing in this tutorial which is how to set the featured uh, image and so I'll jump in and I'm using a local host version of WordPress that I have basically uh, set up using ZAMP and so you can find out more about ZAMP at apachefriends.org again that is apachefriends.org um, so needless to say, uh, many there were many folks who left questions and comments about, hey, how do you add that uh, featured image to a post when you're programmatically creating WordPress posts and pages? And so what we'll do here, I'll be using the test, uh, one of my recent posts here called testing. And so we'll go ahead and we'll click on that testing post. And then as well, I'll show you before it doesn't have a set featured image. And so here is the blog section of this locally hosted WordPress. And there's one that does have a set featured, um, uh, rather a featured image set. And then we'll go find the testing. And as you can see here, it does not have um, a featured image set. So that being said, we're gonna jump in and one of the first things that I did was created a, so this is my, um, you can see here that I'm in application ZAMP, ZAMP files, the htdocs is the web directory, it's the, you know, the root directory rather for the web hosting. And then there's an SSI folder which you're viewing there, the, all the WordPress files. And then what I did was created uh, another directory in the root directory of WordPress called UPD uh, and it, it stands for nothing I just created it um, and you can name yours whatever you can name it test you can name it you know um, set feature and image whatever the main thing is that you want just a directory another directory within your root web directory so once you go into it then I already have um, PNG files and I just chose PNG you could do JPEG you could do uh, GIF you could do um, BMT files if you wanted to and and the reality is you could actually do any assortment of files that can be uploaded to the WordPress media library but for this tutorial we'll focus on image and so I have both of these images I think the image that we will use is the turkey image um, just to show you how the code here in this test.php file which you'll need to create a test.php file and again you can name it whatever you like so um, what we're basically going to do is take and set this turkey image we're going to upload it into wordpress into the media library and then set it as the featured image for the testing post so um, i'm using to edit this file i'm using sublime and you feel free to use whatever text editor um, you feel comfortable with using in terms of programming. And so when we pull up Sublime, I'm, I already have this test.php file available. Uh, one of the things that you'll need to do is to require the wp-load.php file. What this does is it will give you access to many of the built-in functions offered by WordPress. And so, for instance, in terms of um, today's functions that we'll be using, we'll be using, I think it's uh, five or six functions, um, six functions actually, and I'll cover those functions here in a bit once we get to it, but one of the first things that you'll need to do include that um, built-in file there as I show it here and then you'll need to set a variable for your post ID and so the post ID for the um, test 
ID is basically 50, uh, 5342. And you can get that by actually logging into um, your WordPress environment and finding that exact post or page. Next, like I said, we'll be setting the featured image to be the turkey. So then I set the image file name to turkey.png. And then we'll need the current path directory in which we're working in. And then finally, I create an image file path for the full path of the image. So the full path of the turkey image. So then I concatenate the direct path with the slash um, using a period, then the text slash, and then another period, and then the um, image file name or IMG file name. Last but not least, I want to set an error message just in case whatever file name that we set here is not found in the directory, then what we want to do is set a message that says, hey, this file is not available or found in the directory. Once we set all those variables, now we're ready to check to see if the actual image file exists in the directory by using PHP file underscore exist in an if statement. So if the file exists, then we're going to run all of this code that I'll soon to, um, discuss with you. If not, then what will happen is this error message, once we get to the very bottom here, it will be shown or rather echoed to the web browser. And so once we get inside the if uh, file exists, then one of the first things that we're going to do is to prepare the image to be uploaded by using the built-in WordPress function WP upload underscore upload underscore bits. There you'll pass in the image file name, the next value is null, and then the final is um, what we'll do is use file underscore get underscore content. That's a PHP built-in method that will allow us to get the content of the actual turkey image so that the image can be shown. And so we'll use that image or IMG file path that we created back up here. That's what we'll pass to this method, uh, which then gets passed to WP up underscore upload underscore bits. Now, once that happens, then what we'll do is it'll return the file type, uh, w this WP upload underscore upload underscore bits method will return the file type and so we'll have to access it using the um, file attribute of the upload variable and so we'll set a variable called image file and then we'll run a check to make sure to get what type of file indeed that it is and so this is where I said you know if it was JPEG here then basically what would happen is this function would go out check and validate and see what file type it is and return the file type. So this WP file type now should be uh, PNG. And then next, what we'll need to set up are um, all the various attachment attributes. So when you upload um, an image into WordPress or really any file into the media library, at attachment attributes are created. And so basically those attributes are the mom type, the title, the content, the status. Um, and as you can see for this, we're basically telling it which type by using that WP file type variable. And then what we'll do is also use the image file. And so that was set back up here at the very beginning um, right here, which is basically that's the image file name. So in this case, it's actually turkey, um, but that'll get passed. And then using the built-in WordPress sanitize underscore file underscore name, it basically sanitizes the uh, file name. So if you have special characters and spaces, it'll replace those with underscores. Um, so that's just a little tidbit that you'll want to always use a sanitize underscore file underscore name uh, built-in WordPress method. You could also set uh, the content here to actually be the image description, I'm just going to leave it blank because typically I don't set, um, you know, I don't even set those even when I use the native WordPress interface uh, to set those up. Last but not least, um, 
or rather continuing, then what happens is we'll need to insert the attachment using the attachment variable attributes that we defined. And so to insert the attachment, we use the WP underscore insert underscore attachment method, passing to it the attachment array attributes, the image file, and then make sure you pass in your post ID. Next, we then set an attachment data uh, variable, which now will generate um, using the WP underscore generate underscore attachment underscore metadata method. This will generate the metadata um, attributes for the soon to be uploaded file. And so we basically pass to it from the previous um, variable, the attachment ID, as well as the image file. And then last but not least, we update the attachment metadata um, just basically using that previous attachment data uh, here as well as the ID. And then finally, the last but not least, this final step is setting the actual post to uh, the post thumbnail which is basically called the set feature. Now, one would think that being in WordPress, you would likely have something called WP underscore, uh, you know, feature underscore image. But no, um, to set the image or to associate the image ID with the post ID, you use set underscore post underscore thumbnail, passing to it the arguments of post ID and then the attachment ID. And then I basically created this success um, variable because what I want to do is add in a bit of logic here at the tell end, basically to answer the question, was the featured image associated with the post? If success, so if success is true, then what we say is, hey, the image file, and we spell that out, has been added as featured image to post. If not, which is the else, then we say image file name has not been added as a featured image to the post. And again, we echo that as the final. And so now that you have all the code, let's go and run this test file in a web browser. And so again, there's our test page. And then what we'll do, we'll open up another browser and I will then type in the local host, uh, SSI, UP, D test.php will execute it. And when it executes, it should tell us or expose to the page, and there it is. So turkey.png has been added as a featured image to post. So that's good news. That means that now the turkey.png um, should be the featured image for the testing file. So let's go and take a look. Now, if I refresh this page, hopefully what happens is we should see that turkey.2 image, and we do see it as that file there. Now, what I'll also do is um, I'll open up another tab here. Well, that's the wrong thing. And let's see here. Oh. Basically, what I'll do is we'll go to the WP admin if I can actually type it. And hopefully, I can remember my password. And so what'll happen now is we'll go to the pages and then actually it was a post that we did this to. And we'll say testing. And then in testing, we'll click edit. And then down here in the lower right hand, there it is, there's your featured image. So now you can actually see that it's been set and then also when we go to the media library, we should also see that turkey image in the media library. And so 
I hope that this helps. I hope that this sheds light on how to programmatically, uh, you know, use PHP to set a WordPress post as well as a WordPress page. And so if you have any other questions um, about programmatically um, automating WordPress poster pages or setting uh, featured images or just in general Word WordPress programming uh, questions or comments, feel free to leave them there below the video as well. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And last but not least, please visit kickstartcommerce.com where I share search marketing and domain name investing strategies to help grow your business. Uh, again, thank you for watching and that's all for now.